Peekaboo! Hello everybody, Paul Stranger here. Today, I'm gonna be talking about Duke Nukem 3D with the American Badass. And with me is Castro the Annoying Cat. As He's a very annoying cat, aren't you? He's not saying much. But with that said, let's get on with the review. I will talk about certain things like, let's say how great it is. So I'm gonna give my reasons why it's a great game and let's start now. So first off, you should see some gameplay footage and some cool things. And I gotta admit, on the first level, which is LA Meltdown, I have killed all the aliens and got all the secrets because I'm such a badass and I'm not Jabba the Hutt sitting on my fat ass. Yeah, I just say it like I could just know, know it. But, Duke Nukem 3D is better than Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> And I have to really admit, it is. Duke Nukem 3D is basically your typical first person shooter with as the American badass with humor and funny things. Your objective in the game, murder every single alien in sight and make sure none of the bastards live. Blow them up with RPGs, shoot them with a pistol, kill them with shotguns, use the mighty boot against them, use anything that you have in your arsenal. The game is pretty cool and humorous that every kill or every body you blow up, Duke Nukem puts out a punchline. And the theme music you're listening to right now is my favorite with Duke Nukem. The best thing is also because the environment's interactive, there's some certain things you can blow up, interact with certain things, and possibility, just enjoy the game. The enemies come up in different styles. You've got the typical Stormtrooper aliens, which are e the easiest to kill, and they're very common enemies. You've got the Franchise Pig Cops with shotguns. You have Bloating Brains that will pretty much try and kill you and eat you. Oh yeah, if you get killed by them, they eat your body. Ugh. There's Proto Slimers, which basically are just slime balls that try and munch on your face, and they eat any alien bodies. How wonderful. There are also bosses in the game of each of the chapters. And overall, you got the Nuke and the American Badass. There are more enemies to along, and the game itself gets updated. It hasn't been forgotten. There are loads of secrets to reward you as finding armor stronger weapons atomic health you could just just look around the whole game with a jetpack and fly around and blow crap up the game is fun you will never get bored and there's never a dull moment Duke Nukem 3d is one of those games that you'll love because it's different to other games and look what I do I hurt myself by blue the guy behind there it's quite funny actually but with that said, sometimes the game could go, oh, it's an alien taking a crapper. Well, sorry, pal. No one's taking a dump today, and I need a piss, so hurry up. No way, I killed you. The game is pretty cool. Duke Nukem 3D was also on the PS1. It was the, there was a different version. There were loads of different Duke Nukem 3Ds, but I think the PC one was the more do That poor babe. I'm sorry. In any case, oh yeah, if you don't know, the aliens came down to steal all the babes and kill all the men. And that's why Duke Nukem is killing them all, because he's pissed that the alien bastards are stealing our women. And I'm going to murder every single one of them and make them suffer, the alien bastards. Well, that said, it's pretty hilarious that, that yeah, you can obviously see, see with the humor. And many other things. So... You're probably asking, what is actually your objective? Well, besides murdering aliens on sight, finding secrets, which could be hilarious, you basically supposed to get all the security guard cards, get to the doors, and get to the exit point, which can be blatantly obvious as a big nuclear sign. Or you could just take your time and murder every single alien on sight, find all the secrets, get all the weapons, and kick some ass. This game doesn't tell you what to do. It just punks you on the game, you go, what am I supposed to do? You just look around and just kill shit. 
this game doesn't boss you around. It's kind of like Half-Life, that you have the freedom to do what you want, as you don't have boundaries against you. Which is cool. It's sad there's no games like uh, like Duke Nukem that has the humor and obviously the freedom and doesn't have some annoying voice telling you to hurry up. Plus, it doesn't even make any difference if you left some aliens. But again, it's fun killing them because you want to murder every single one of them. And it's cool because you get to carry nine weapons. Besides Duke Nukem Forever, you only carry two. Whoever's idea was it was incredibly stupid. And they deserve to be fired. Well, besides being 12 years of development, Christ. Duke Nukem Forever was supposed to be the game that would have been the would have been the best of the best. But it turned out to be the worst. What a bunch of hope which was lost. But besides that though, Duke Nukem for 3D is funny, hilarious, and it's worth the money. It's a good price for an old game, and still to this very day, it's still loved by its well-known community. And Duke Nukem is the badass that we all love. In his older games, but the forever one that nobody really gives a shit. I did hear there's another Duke Nukem game coming out, or being made, or whatever. And if it's true, then I hope the people who are developing it will redeem Duke Nukem's name to be the lame or weak person carrying two guns to some weird eco health. Back to the old find a health pack and nine weapons. With that really said though, I hope the game gets redeemed once more and gets a nice redone. Hell, I wouldn't mind if Duke Nukem 3D had a redone was upgraded to 21st century look. You know, just the graphical changes and everything. The 3D models. And keep it as it is. Except make everything look different. Then, hey, that'll be cool. But if people, if someone is going to do a remake, at least leave the game as it is. And just update the graphics. That's it. Don't change the game. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the review. Do I recommend this game? Obviously enough, I recommend it fully. So, grab your shotguns, get some AKs, it's time to kick alien ass. And as Duke says, and here he goes.